belong to the union. You should be able to to look at your your work and really uh, really appreciate what you've done, what you've built. The straightness, the quality of work, everything everything that has to do with you know quality craftsmanship is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Just a little while ago, I was uh, cutting the cast iron pipe. Uh, I was making it shorter. Uh, that way the bands would line up and everything looks aesthetically correct. Uh, again, this is a high visible area, so you want to make sure that everything looks really nice when people walk through here. He was cutting off the end of the cast iron so that the bands would line up. We want to make it look uniform and neat. You want to get the job done and you want to do it fast, but you got to remember and you got to be disciplined enough that you're making sure that you're doing it right and doing it right the first time. Uh, makes no sense to come back and have to repair things. You're just doing twice the work. All the clamps are uniform or tight. The unistrut that is up there is uniform. It's equal and even. And the bands are all turned real nice. So it looks like he's taking the time and it looks good. Juan's been doing it for probably 25 years. So he does a good job and he teaches the younger guys coming up the same way. We actually have a collection basin and it's going to be built in on uh, P1. It's going to hold like 50,000 gallons of water. It's going to collect from the rainwater and the condensate. So this is a giant glass structure that comes all the way down. We call it the skateboard ramp. And so once rain hits this building, it all kind of comes into this giant slide right here. And uh, a lot of the water will, all the water will go down in this trench right here and come down into the parking garage. These storm drain lines go into some, a pre-filtration system, filters out all the leaves and debris. And then after that, it goes into this storm retention tank. And when it starts raining, this tank will fill up in about an hour. And after an hour, this pipe here will collect the runoff. And that'll actually go outside to this catch basin here on the street. And the goal for this water is to come through a filtration pump and then feed our uh, water towers on the roof that ultimately feed the chillers and the cooling system. So we're recycling that water. Particularly in California where there's a drought, recouping the water from the rain in the condensate in this building, it'd be a great savings, not a lot of wasted water, so it would be good. If this is going out to a high school environment and people are sitting there looking at me talk about what are the benefits of working in the construction industry, uh, the first thing I would tell you is make sure that you put emphasis on math. Math is so important. It comes becomes so important as we go ahead and plan out in the job site here. To be a plumber is one thing, but then uh, there's there's all kinds of options in plumbing. You can uh, there's project management, there's uh, project engineers. We have uh, detailers, spoolers, which are actually create fabrication sheets. There's all kinds of computer work, uh, engineering, um, things that aren't field related. Mathematics is just, you have, you have to be pretty good at math to, to, to be good in this trade. Um, we, do, we do a lot of different kind of math, and uh, the better you are, the further along you'll get in this trade. Pride for a project like this, it's great. You know, it's gonna be seen around the world. This is one of the largest buildings, tallest buildings, west of uh, Chicago. So, it's, I take a lot of pride in that stuff. I brought my, my young girls, uh, took them to the job site with the permission of the general contractor, got them in the man lift, put hard hats on them, put the safety glasses on them, they enjoyed it. Showed them the work, shows them what their, what their dad does every day.